here with Victoria Seradono and Victoria is a gorgeous woman from Brazil for those of you who haven't met her and we met recently and I was immediately drawn to her because she's a beauty expert but she's kind of you're an all-rounder it's yeah. like at school when you weren't good at lacrosse or hockey or tennis you were just called an all-rounder but victoria's good at all three hockey tennis and uh, lacrosse i won't see which one compares to beauty but um, <laughs> i know from her instagram which has so many hundreds of thousands of followers that you are kind of liked for anything you do and i saw you were at the cricket club meeting the queen yeah well, last not week meeting but, but you had a close-up shot yeah i was very yeah. close to her it but was... the the most important thing victoria that i have to say is victoria has incredible skin and whenever i meet any woman who has under come and close you've got to show your skin unbelievable skin look at that skin hardly any makeup on a nice eye on i'm the one who's going to be taking off the makeup today <laughs> you really get a sense so i want to know more about her beauty routine so that's why you're in the bathroom with us yeah. predominantly for all the other things too but it's about skin and when victoria and i met before we really wanted to discuss facial massage techniques yes we're telling we're both obsessed with. Yes, we yes. believe in facial massage. Okay, so I'm going to first of all, because I think for facial massage, you're going to keep that lovely look, and I'm going to scrub my face off. I was in a studio all day doing a bit of filming, so I'm going to use Gold Farden's um, Expanse Scrub. Have you ever used this? No. This is really, this is actually not the severe one, but this is a real okay. scrubbing machine, Ooh, nice. and it's like if you had, did you ever in your life have microdermabrasion? Uh, yes. yes. Do you remember it was crystals? If any of you had microdermabrasion, but it's like microdermabrasion in a jar. So I'm just going to do I that so that. I have a good surface for your facial technique. Yeah. And what do you want to tell them about you? You tell them something about you whilst <laughs> I just sit here in the background scrubbing <laughs> off my makeup. And I'm scrubbing my hands, so, so why always did, a good idea. Why? When did you first get obsessed by beauty? How old were you? Mm, I think I was kind of born um, loving beauty. You were. So out of your mother's whatever into the world of beauty. You know, what? my mum always thought I was very weird because she wasn't obsessed with beauty at all is she a natural beauty who doesn't have to try she is yeah yes. i can imagine she has incredible looking at this woman, skin yeah and mm. there's women when you when you kind of think what's your routine and they say soap and water and you think shit how can oh, i why? i would like to just do soap and water and be good so your mother had natural beauty yes so then did you go the opposite she didn't try much with with makeup yeah so she was never kind of like wearing makeup but she had some random products so i first started stealing her random products that okay. i still remember to this day was a creamy clinique uh concealer yeah and a really old you know those duty-free palettes Yes, uh, like the long one, exactly all those ones. the long yes. one, red packaging. Yeah, so that was like I don't know, twenty over twenty yeah. years ago. Uh, so I kind of started experimenting, and I always loved reading about beauty. Yeah. So I would buy all the magazines, and I mean back then there was no internet and YouTube. You had to look everything. I, you'd, I I used to in my boarding school take things from magazines and rip them out and put them on my wall yes. and make a collage. I had a anyone kind that of folders. Okay. <laughs> I had folders. Oh, <laughs> So reading a lot, a lot of makeup books as well. And then I, you know, I really realized that the way of kind of learning, it's not enough to just read, you have to practice. Yes, So that's do. the thing I say the most to my audience, especially on the videos, because I feel like practice. nowadays there are so many videos out there, but people, yeah. I feel like people are watching the videos, but they don't go then and, and, and do it. It's just that kind of inhalation yeah. of information without execution. So today it's about execution. So yeah. we're going to start with massage and I've got a clean face now. I've used that gold farden. You can see my face a little bit red, but it's really clean oh, and, um, and feel soft. So we'll take a couple of questions mm -hmm. in case. Are there any questions yeah. yet? Yes. So Steph's Steph asking, do you, does she need a thick moisturizer to go on top of vitamin C? Okay, totally random question, but we can do, we'll do three <laughs> random questions. I believe, and you can just throw in your, your bits, uh, uh, 10 cents, is when you do a vitamin C serum, you need to put on as much moisture afterwards as your skin needs in order to then feel it sort of plumped up and well. Would, Agree. Yeah. Agree. Yeah. Okay, so we'd say yes. Um, if you have a very oily skin, a serum might be enough. Yeah. But um, for me, I'm a dried up prune and I need hydration. So I think so. it's all about feeling. 
you know skin is so much about feeling you have to really look at your skin and understand and understand its behavior yes. because also skin is not always the same yes it depending can really on the weather change, if, yeah. you're if you're traveling the yeah. water all these things yeah. so it's kind of really about self knowledge self skin knowledge self skin <laughs> knowledge the temple of self skin knowledge so we both brought oils yes and I think first when you weren't here because Victoria's going to join us and uh, around when was it Victoria the 10th of June yeah. and you, I you, got I, I, was, got, I got stuck in Florence. She got stuck in Florence. <laughs> I'm going to just for for want of no um, no uh, mixing up. Your your Vic Victoria, lovely lady who you all know, is in the back. So I'm going to get Victoria to to darling. Yeah. 10th of June, I did facial oils. So for those of you who watch that, we'll do a quick repeat of my ones and yours, and yes. hopefully. Vic will have some I do not have. So yeah. having the right oil to do this massage is really important. Mm. So you do one and I'll do one. Okay. And why you love it. Okay. All right. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Um. Facial oils, ladies. We can never get enough of them. No. Yes. I was like, okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I couldn't make it to okay. five. What's so this one? Flora Sunday Riley. Don't have that one. It's really good. Is it really? So it's very like rose. Okay. I love it for especially for massage. Yeah. So even when I have the um, the the massage girl coming to my house, yeah, she she will use, use this. that one. So yeah. for the ladies here who can't smell through the screen, we're going to both smell it. You know it well. So. And I'm going to say it's a. It's a very dusky rose. It's not a fresh tea rose, this no. smell. It's like a rose, not even a rose otto. It's kind of a rose Damascus, actually. Yeah, I don't know if it has Damascus it. rose in it, but it's that heady rose color, uh, rose thing. And there's also another flavor in it, which is sort <laughs> of, um, it's the base oil. And it's kind of like rose hip. So yeah, do you think there's some rose hip in it? Yeah, it's a mix of roses. Becomes, Can yeah. you, you've got to read for Rose me and rose hip. Rose and rose hip. Okay, rose and rose hip. That's why I smell the rose hip. But the yeah. texture of this oil is very nice. It's absorbing. Yeah. It's not too but, dribbly. Yeah. yeah. So I love face oils, but I think for massage, when I just wear them just like on yeah, the daily yeah, routine, I yeah. do like a maybe wa more watery one, okay. especially on uh, during summer. Okay. And so you, you'll do has, an oil as a part of your routine? Yeah. That's interesting because I don't do that often. I do them more for a massage okay. and then I'll kind of take it off, blot it off, and then I'll do my normal morning routine. So apart from Vintner's Daughter, mm -hmm. which I do okay. on in the summer. I love this one. Okay, another Kiehl's. one. I don't know. This is very Kiehl's. watery. So really? Oh, yeah, I think this is a very good one for people with oily skin. Oh, this is we love to have yeah. things oily skin because there's lots of ladies here. So daily reviving concentrate. There I, we go. I fell in love with this because it says it says it's like for when your skin is fatigued. Fatigued. Like fatigued. Yeah. So we, we like that word. I'm always fatigued. <laughs> yeah. So it is. She's very it's watery. dribbly. It's yeah. very dribbly like that. I would say mm. this is a kind of light oil. It's very light. It's very light. So I would say if it's good for people with an oily skin, that's great. For me, there's not a huge amount of substance to yes. this oil. Yes. You know, dry skin yeah. is not the idea. So not for massage, but more for a, just a daily. Yeah. Rubbing it on. Yes. Okay. All and right. I, new favorite, Virgin Marula from oh, Drunk Elephant. Drunk Elephant. I mean, Drunk Elephant. They are. Like I really love. And it's a U.S. brand. It's yeah. here now. Where do you buy it here? Because I've got I, one retinol product from them that I ordered online. Yeah. I but I don't it. know which shop sells it in England. They sent it to me, like the PR from okay. the U.S. Yeah. So I'm not. She sure. sent things. Um, okay. So Virgin Marula Luxury okay. Facial really Oil. Nice. So yeah. let's just try that one. We're going to put all of the ingredients afterwards in detail. That's got more stickiness to yeah. it, definitely. Um, it's in between probably the flora oil from uh, Sunday Riley and the Kiehl's yes. one. It's penetratable. The smell is base. There's no floral smell to it, which might be good for people who are irritated by fragrance. Yes. Yep. And they say it's just plain marula oil. Marula oil. Mm. Marula African oil do not confuse with marenga oil. They're two different things. Yes. Yeah, that's got a nice feel to it. I like the texture. Oh, mm. I'm going to do Olio Rosso, which is one that is Rodin. And Rodin is, is, is Linda. And um, Linda Rodin's this amazing stylist from New York. I've spoken about her a bit. She's got white hair. She's got wears incredible lips. She's now done a few lipsticks yeah. as well. You've probably been sent them. I have. I have haven't I've yet to get them. Um, but this oil has got a lot of jasmine in it, and she loves working with jasmine. And she has a very minimalist uh, makeup routine. So that is a little bit liquidy. But if you ladies like to be enveloped in a fragrance, it's so good. I love it's, this 
just remind yourself it it is if you, if any of you have been to India it's that night jasmine that you get in the evening it's not the daytime british jasmine it's a really incredible jasmine and it, I love to massage with love this product too. The texture. Yeah. Mine, I actually ran out of this one you did. twice. Okay. Which is very rare okay. because <laughs> I try a lot of you products. Try, so you when try I lot. finish something, yeah. Okay. And she was actually, this is actually, I think, responsible for this kind of boom of facial oils. I'd say she, because she came out and her first product was an oil. I think yeah. that's true. And all the makeup um, artists uh, love this. They love, they love it, kind of yes. Yeah, I think, but when it got into the big pin, but there's a, there's quite a few people, like another one we can talk about, which I talk about a lot, is Vintner's Daughter, which is, a, they call it a serum. Mm. Have no doubt, this I is a, a mixture of many oils, but Ooh, the the love. depth of okay. this product and the, the, um, the hydration of this product. I actually, in the summer, and I'm going to do my packing video on oh, Thursday, part one, nice. products. I'm going to decant, and then Monday morning, I'm going to do my packing my suitcase video, ladies, so look out for those. But I will take Vintner's Daughter with me, and my routine mm. when I'm on holiday is I'll use a scrub, and then I'll do a little um, Neostrata collagen. Okay. Then I'll do a tiny bit of this oil, and then I'll do my sun protection. And I just, I don't know why in the heat I go for this oil, but I put it, I love it so much. Okay, all right, question, ladies. Mm. Cindy is wondering if you could talk about sensitive skincare, oils for sensitive, dehydrated skin. Okay, what would you say? I would say oils are... For sensitive skin. They, I think, my feeling with oil is that it kind of makes your skin reach its ideal balance. Yeah. So if, either if your skin is oily or if your skin is sensitive and yeah. dehydrated, I think it kind of makes your skin happy yes. and then your skin kind of it kind of finds itself yeah, it that's a real Brazilian way of saying things um, <laughs> I would add on to that that um, I think Trilogy is a very good oil and this is a rosehip oil it doesn't smell great I've spoken about this before but mm. It's incredibly good if you have acne, rosacea, a skin condition, or a sensitivity to fragrance. I do believe that is a killer of an oil. Okay. I really love it. I got this in Whole Foods, but you can buy it. It's a medium priced oil as well. Very good consistency of rosehip. Okay, your next one. Come on, you got one more. Twin. Oh no, it's there. It's which? Oh my God. They're almost twin, but this is by Terry. Excuse me. And, but they are both rose. Come so up, that's come great. up, come up. There they are. That's when two, oh. you wonder who came out with the first, and I've got to say, I think Seabag came out with his first. I don't mm. know. Okay, but let's just try them both. This they is both my favorite oil of all time. For the night. For the night, all right. Because so, I feel like when I sleep with this on, I wake up with my skin like super luminous and you do. Okay. so happy. All right, I'm so, okay, let's see. Victoria, see which one is more expensive, I'm interested to know, but Rose Serum, this one, Calming, Replenishing, Repairing. I think Seabag has incredible ingredients mm -hmm. on his products and because he is a cosmetic doctor yes. and I go to him for Botox, he really, um, I remember when he was starting this range and, and he's so detailed about his ingredients and I'm sure Terry Ginsberg is as well because she, but she came from a makeup artist she came background. From, yes. So the exactly. lady, just in case you don't know, by Terry was, um, was uh, done by the lady who worked at uh, Yves Saint Laurent and she was a makeup artist and she, she invented Touche Claire. She invented Touche Claire. That's so, it. That's it. I mean, what more can be said? But I mean, she changed the world of the concealer. Definitely. Okay, so I'm going to put a bit of this on yours and you put a bit of yours on mine because we both know each other's. Yes. I mean, we both know our own. So I'm going to give you that one. Okay, and you're going to give this me that This is more one. dribbly. Okay, mine is yours. Is she likes a dribble. <laughs> Vic loves Ooh, a dribble. Oh, okay, I've got to do it on the other hand because then it's... There's a question for Vic. Mm. What is Vic's day new skin routine? Yes, okay. So, being, trying to be very kind of streamlined because yeah. I, I, I normally like to try different things mm -hmm. but I would cleanse, um, do an oil or a hyaluronic acid serum, okay. like something very yes. light yeah. and then depending on my skin, if that's enough, I'll just go for sunscreen. If I need, I'll do a bit of like moisturizer on top. So I'm loving the same one that you're loving, the Sisley, the new, yeah, the yeah, new I one. Yeah, I love that, yes. Oh, the, the, love, but we love it. So good. Yes, that's very good. And then I'll go for sunscreen, so it depends. And then at night, super thorough clean, cleansing yeah. again. Yeah. And then some oil or some serum. So you, she loves she, an oil. I love this an oil. This is an oil lover. So yeah. I would like to start some massage <laughs> techniques. Which oil are we going to use? Okay, so why... I love face face massage so yeah. much is that I believe 
it's a, a daily habit that you can have okay to make your muscles kind of exercise so instead of doing Botox or filler or anything, you can get your face to work for you. Daily. All right. So and let's, yeah. It's like exercising, like on the body, like okay. it's something you can do every day. I have uh, three, actually four things I love to do uh, regarding massage. Mm -hmm. So two I do on myself and mm -hmm. two I like to go and do. So face gym, I love face gym. Okay, face gym for those of you who don't know it is a kind of, uh, a, Really, it's like a facelift for the face, and people do it, and they get inside your mouth, and they lift your face, and if you're very tired, yeah. you kind of do these exercises. Yeah, it's, it's like exercise. It's like exercise. It is profoundly expensive, but it has merit. So if, if money's no object, to go there and really have that done to you, you have to, I think, be vigorous. And, and you know, Botox could be an instant fix. You do face chick, face. Um, uh, gym for a month and it's going to give you that isn't yes it? Okay. or you can do it like once a month but the most important is kind of having the habit to do it every day okay so and then maybe once a week so okay I, oh, can we start i want to start i want to so, start so what oil Suku, are we going to use Suku, which one uh which oil i'm going to use i'm going to use sea bags oil okay. and i'm going to mix it ah, what's wrong with a bit of mixing yeah, we love okay it. i'm going to mix it with a bit of vintner's daughter no Where's my business water? So what are you going to use? So if I'm in the mood and I have time, I'll do a full kind of uh, massage. Yeah. So I'll either use ganking, which is a, um, a technique from that Japanese brand. Okay, let's soup. say that in English. <laughs> what do you say? Ganking? Ganking. Yeah. How is it spelled? G-A-N-K-I-N. So ganking, you know, ganking. So ganking, yeah. Uh, Suko, Suko, Suko the, the, Jap brand. the Japanese yeah. brand. Okay. So they made this technique, and it's ideal to do before makeup okay. to kind of prep your face. Uh, but I normally do it at night. Okay, so we're do they it have together. a step by step, and they have a PDF. You can okay. find it online. Great. Right. So okay. We like that. Is it free? Easy. Is it free? Yeah. It's, it's a PDF free. free. Yes. yes we yes, like yeah. that. So and they have videos on YouTube. Fantastic. So if also there's some people watching where you don't have much money, take a really basic oil and let's try it. Yeah. And then I also mix with some techniques from this Brazilian girl that is amazing and yeah. she does the best lymphatic drainage. This is good. In Sao Paulo. Okay. So, so she taught me one, yeah. some uh, techniques for the face. In the end, they have some, thing, some overlaps yeah. because in the end it's all about draining your lymph. Okay. So the most important thing is you have to open your lymph nodes here, yeah, okay. so you do like this and you press. So I have to start with that. Yeah. Okay. Do I take some? No, I'm a bit revealed. Actually, I'm a bit. Okay. So you start just, here and you press where? Yeah. So you're pressing so in like your neck. This kind of where you have this uh, kind of hole. Yeah. On the on the. So it's either side of the collarbone. Yeah. And I know that place because when you press it, you feel you might be stopping a blood flow. Yeah. It's, it's that kind feeling. Of, yeah. So that's how you can know can that's where to press. So gland. come up close and show. Come up close and show. show. So that just there. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. So this kind of opens. So you can see, like, even okay. my my Brazilian girl and Suku, they both start the same way because it's all about okay. opening. When you say the, one, two, three, are you pressing like down for three? Yeah, like pump, one, two, pump, pump. Uh, pump, pump, pump. Yeah. Okay. Pump, I love learning something new. Pump, <laughs> pump, pump. pump. Okay. Then, mm -hmm. you know, I when I do the, the proper fools, I need the step by step because yeah. I don't remember all the proper movements. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to... To tell you about some some that I remember some crucial movements. Yeah, so yeah, okay. those are the ones that I normally do, even if I'm not doing the full massage. All right, fine. You know? Yep. Okay. So we're ready. first, the thing that annoys me the most is the double chin. Double chin. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So you do for the to kind of make your. So the one the okay. suku they do it's like a kind of a scissor. Yeah. And you. Like this, yeah. But you're doing it very softly because the lymphatic. No, yeah, you do more. Like, you do more like this. Strongly, so you're, you're, and you kind of pull so here. It's like you're carving yes. your your chin up like carving. that. You're carving your chin. Yeah, carving Carve. your chin, carving your so, chin. Okay. Well, actually, Hannah told me to do like eight times. So eight, one, two, three, four, eight. Yeah. And then you bring it down. So it's important. So it's got to go up there, down the lymphatic, because the lymphatic comes all the way down here. Yeah. And then bring it down to, and release to it drain, yeah. to drain so it. You're like taking it. Okay. The, so I'm going to do the other the side. Dogs in the way. It's like I want to do that kind of, you know, that sort of vogue, <laughs> vogue, vogue. <laughs> all right. Any questions whilst we're doing 
The um, bow. Let's ask you, will this help with her saggy jaw? Yeah. Yes. For sure. Yes. So, and you, it's important that you do it every day because then it's really like you can see a difference. Okay. Really see it's, a difference. It's like, when can you fit time in for everything, ladies? But I think... No, but it's like five minutes, you know? Five minutes. So think of five minutes in your day. You could be sitting on the loo. It could be the morning when you you're having a crap and you've got constipation and you just have time. Yeah. You know? Or instead of looking, uh, like being drawn on Instagram, just go and do Yes, it. exactly. Get off the... So and do something for yourself. So another one that I love, mm -hmm. this one is from the Ganking, the Suku one. Yeah. You do like this triangle with your yeah. hand yeah. and you press this kind of line yeah. around your mouth. Yeah. You just press, okay, it press it in three times. And what they teach that I think is really interesting, when yeah. you want to do more pressure, you put your face forward. Why? Because then you even if you're not doing a lot of pressure, pressure, pressure yeah. with your hand, yeah. it gets you see. You get the pressure from yeah. your yeah. from your so face So if you do it down. like okay. this and you do it like this, you can see. Yeah, you like, can feel more pressure. It's more pressure. What is this doing for us? Is this as as well just draining the lymphatic? Good. Yes, and good for like plumping kind of this line. Okay, so the marionette like. mouth. Yeah, we call it so when you're much older. Good. Okay, I can feel actually. It's, it's good, funny because no? I and think you can do like all. You know? Yeah. The whole... The whole... Know. So I put my whole... Yeah. You see like this, I close up just so you can see I'm doing that. Yeah. So you press... Yeah. To, okay. To, so you do like kind of a cup with your hand. A cup like that. And to kind of pull the... Like this open. Yeah. And kind of drag so your... So like, like that we're doing. Yeah. This is cool to kind of lift. Okay. Really good to lift. Okay. To kind of... And you do this at the same time opposite? Could you um, do that? Or do you do one and then one, the other? One at a time. Okay. Yeah. I mean, probably you could it's do this It's interesting because I do that, all right? Mm -hmm. But yeah. I think the difference between my thing there, which I got from Omrakovitz, I think, mm -hmm. in a fashion, is that you're not affecting, because when I do that, my eye pulls up a bit. But this, it just focuses on the cheek. So I think yeah. that's a really interesting one I'm going to bring into my routine. <laughs> Really? I am, I think and it's And I great. think this one is more like muscle and this is more like circulation. Okay, and yeah, because I feel... Could, you, you probably it could be good to do both. Yeah, I'm sure honest. it could. Right. Any question? Yeah, so Barbara is asking, do you do this with a lotion? The exercises. Can well, do. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm doing it with the oil on and I think it makes your... It, it, it makes your it easier to move your skin. Yeah. But, but just, the, the lotion, total. actually Suku, they do it with a cream. Yeah. A very kind of like very... Fluid. No, very, very dense. Thick. Yeah, very Like thick. a creme de la mer sort of. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But the most important thing is yeah. always remember to apply your cream doing upwards. Up, yeah, up we know, up, up we know. I do this all the time with the ladies. Up, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, eyes. Eyes, yes, show me eyes. So, everybody thinks you should apply your creams like this, right? Because, oh, I've like, going done, up, no, so I've, it's I've always done like that. Yeah, yeah. I've so, Renata that, yeah. Taught, taught me, yeah. to, oh, Renata has a good one as well. Okay. You, oh, like, you, there's a, she taught me all the glands. Like, yes, yeah. So, open up this one. One, two, three. Oh, when we, you do this. Okay, okay, you open that before then, maybe. Yeah, it's kind You're of saying like before we do the cupping, we're going to press that to release that lymphatic yeah. gland. And am I pressing just on the on the right of my nostril or below my nostril? Uh, it's just yeah, on the side. Yeah. Okay, yeah, here. Like on the side. All right, it's really attractive. Isn't it? okay. <laughs> I mean, either one slathered in oil, and Vic is looking gorgeous. All right. And then but the eyes, we go around. And then the eyes, you the can open way. here. Yeah. One, so we just press. Two, three. Yeah. And then For again. For some reason, it's always three. I don't one. know why. Two. <laughs> so pumping three or holding down for three pumping and then releasing. three. So and one, then you two, do three. the move is like this. Like this. Oh, like this. Yeah. And With, then you yeah. just Yeah, this one is sort of very good for it's very training. soothing and yeah. it's but you can do like harder. Yeah. And Suku has a good one for the eye where you do with this. Uh, this that knuckle, 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 knuckle. And you press so you press three times. Yeah. Like, Putting your eyebrows yeah, up, yeah. so one, two, two three, three. Yeah, and do. then you also... And then you go round, because I do one, which is to push up my eyebrows mm -hmm. like that, so you can do it with me. You've got very open eyes though, and then I just close my eyes, and I close for 30, like that. And oh, it really helps, okay, and then it lifts open. open your eyes. So oh, no. You see, like so you're this? holding up like that, mm -hmm. and then you're trying to close your eyes. Mm. My ladies have seen me do this so often. Oh, I love but it. But you do about 30 of them, and you keep trying to close oh. your eyes, and then it just, you see, it lifts your brow. <gasps> it's really good, that. Before Amazing. you go to a party, if you're very yeah. tired. Next up. 
Give me another one, and then I want to do makeup. F uh, forehead. Yes, yes, forehead. So again, the knuckles, but now the first knuckles. The first knuckles. Yeah, you so mean the 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 closer to okay, the, 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 the these nails. little baby knuckles. Yeah. yeah. And then you do a forehead. Yeah. Four times in the center. Yeah. One going up. Oh, two, two, three, three four. four. So kind of going one, two, three, one, four. One, two, three. Four. And then you go to the side. Okay. And do again. Yeah. One, two, two three, three, four. four. I'm pressing quite hard. Yeah, you can press hard, okay. and they even do like the uh, the. They do a bit of Japanese front. bowing. Yeah. yeah to yeah, make Japanese it bowing. harder. Okay. So it can be quite two, three, kind of hard. Four, yeah. One, this is a good two, one to kind three. of. And you also, know? I imagine at the end of the day to release that tension. Yes. And my Botox is just about worn out, so I can actually do this now. So when I wake up, I've got a bit of a frown. Mm -hmm. So it's quite good. I think that will be to release my frown. Yes. Okay. Totally. Excellent. I Excellent. love these. These are very yeah, nice. I think we're, we're, we're done with that. Do you feel yeah. you got? I learned something today, ladies. I hope you learned something. Yeah. And now I want to go into her makeup bag because I want to put some makeup on. <laughs> and as you tell me each thing, we're gonna. I'm gonna do your makeup. I mean, I gotta put on her makeup. What do you start with when you start your makeup? Um, I no, I don't always do you do use concealer? a primer. Yeah. Uh, but I normally st so if I do a primer or not, yeah. I always do foundation first. Okay. So I had to do a top five, but I couldn't, so I did a top ten. Of course. I'm of course. Very bad at of picking. course. Okay. So foundation I brought uh, by Terry Light Expert. Okay. All right. So I think this is. I mean, I have used this in the past. I think what I love about it is. It's simplicity and application, and you you know you just. Can I ask you when you put this on? Do you put it on under your eye like a concealer? Yeah. So it's concealer and foundation. Yeah, I like to do foundation first because then I feel like I need less concealer on top of it. So you're gonna put concealer on top of this? Yeah, I normally right. do because. And do you rub it in with your hands or with a? Uh, with I a normally do a brush. Yeah, you see, I but do I, I like to to put foundation yeah. with my hands because I think it gives gives a natural feel. I've got to say, with the by Terry, because I'll tell you what I use out of interest when I use by Terry foundation mm. is I use if I have it here the Wrinkle Control Serum. If I've got it, I've run out. Yes, I've run out. But they have. Oh, no. She has a Wrinkle Control foundation. Which is it the the uh, glass? It's uh, in a glass, glass. Okay. Um, bottle and. It is probably one of the most expensive foundations I have ever bought. It's something like 70 pounds. So I was really put off by the price, but it kind of filled in the wrinkles. So if anyone wants an investment foundation, it's, it is good. I don't know how good she is with being colors for every country mm. because they don't, you know, this is my bugbear with French brands is yes. they don't always go to a dark, the dark uh, skin. Complexion. And so I think by Terry. Terry. I don't think Terry does. I don't know. Terry, listen to Terry. this one. But that is a nice product. Um, it gives the quite good coverage. I feel like I'm wearing quite a lot of foundation. You do? But yeah, I do. But then that's just me. But would you put more on than this? No. No, that's enough. That. Yeah. Okay, and fine. can you see it gives a really nice glow? Do you don't think that's the oil on underneath? Mm, I think it's a mix, but it's I really a mixture. love this finish. Yes, it is a good finish, actually. Really it's a beautiful lovely. foundation, ladies. If you want to splurge, good foundation. Okay, yeah. next up. Oh, you've got this concealer. This is interesting because mm. I've got the other one. The liquid one. Mm. Yes. So, so I, I love the liquid mine. one. Yes. So anyway, I have the one which the is the one. The Radiant Creamy. So to be honest, I normally wear like two or three concealers at once. Oh my God, yeah, you but don't. I had to pick Why? just one, so I picked that one. But okay. to be honest, on my uh, under eyes, yeah. I love the Radiant Creamy one. Now, when you put creamy. it on, how do you put it on? Because everyone does something different. And yeah. I had Alex Steiner in mm -hmm. here, and yeah. she was saying that she'd learned from somebody how to do concealer in a very different way. Okay. And it was all about going down. And then Mary Greenall always talks about that triangle. So not to just go round in a panda bear, mm -hmm. but to come down here at the side. To kind of... To illuminate. kind of not make you, you know, to give illumination, yes. Mm -hmm. Many of you know the other NARS concealer. I think what's good about this concealer is that it's, if you have an oilier skin, it's better. Yeah. It's, so um, it's, it's less creamy, it's matte, and if you've got some spots, it's a very good spot cover up. I would probably use a brush if I'm going yes. to do spot cover up. But that, if you notice, I had quite bad dark circles and they've kind of gone. So I, I love that. Really nice to see it. Um, cool. And yeah, I would say I could use that again. Do you I use powder, like mattifying powder? No, I don't, yeah, but I'm gonna do everything you're doing today. No, but I don't as well. But this oh. is like, this is one of my like products that changed my life. And I didn't use to wear powder at okay. all. After this, I use it every day. So it's a hourglass, Ambient. luminous light. Yeah. It's the ambient powder yeah. or luminous light? 
Ambient luminous ambient light. Ambient luminous light. Yeah. So I had this mm. about six months ago and I gave it away, ladies, do you remember on Facebook? Because I thought I didn't use it. So I'm going to properly use it now and see. Can I just say this brush is the best brush makeup woman in the world oh, what is and she's called Ray Morris and oh. she's probably never watching but years ago in Australia she did my makeup for a TV show and she uses all the Kanubi um, brush hairs and the first brush set she did which she gave Susanna and I which had 14 brushes in it was a thousand dollars of brushes. I mean they were insane but she's brought out lots of different things and I follow her on Instagram I haven't spoken to her forever but this brush is eight years old and not one fucking hair has come out of it. Amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. So I'm going to so put what this I on do, where... So because it's quite, it's it's a highlighting Ooh. powder, but yep. it's not too high, but I know I start yeah. there. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I normally start there, but I kind of go then all over my face. So, you know, first time, first place you hit okay. the face with the brush, you get more product. So you, I get more product okay. here when I want highlighter, yeah. Yeah. where I want. And then I kind of, with the rest of the product that I have left, I kind of go... Like so that. it is a powder, but it has kind of this... Luminosity. Finish, yeah. So I feel like it really gives a kind of photoshopped... Photoshopped is a word we love. As you know, ladies, we don't use filters here. So this is what you get, but it is pretty. It's pretty. I this is know. what I, every time when I'm very tired, I do more of that and people always say, wow, your skin look amazing. So I'm, I, I'm pretty sure. Okay, because why. Vic has a big <laughs> wallet, what's an alternative bit? Because when ladies are watching, they'll think, great hourglass, go online, look it up. It's like 40 quid or whatever it is. Yeah. What is the alternative to this? Or is there not one? You can for, see if there's no, not one. No, for this one, to be honest, the ones that I would say are good alternatives that I have found so far, are Laura Mercier and Gerla, so okay. I don't think they're very good. They're not that much less. <laughs> but no, yeah, but I yeah. think also this is not totally necessary no, in your not. life. Okay, next one. So I kind of uh, cheated because this is one, but it's actually yes. Okay, it's a many, palette. it's many, it's many. So I'm gonna but I my love this again. palette because it's, it's all in one. Thing. So all get one. contour, okay. blush, highlighter, oh. and three sh eyeshadows. So I don't ever do this, ladies. You know how I feel about this. So I'm gonna do it. Which one? I think. You know, I like to do a bit, and I do a everyday contour. I don't okay. do like a crazy. Okay. Just because I feel like when you apply foundation, you kind of remove your natural shadows. All oh, right. So, so I do a bit, kind of starting, so starting here, here, and very kind of broad movements. So, so it's almost like a bronzing contour. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay. And then I go up big. there a little bit. Yes. Okay. And then I'm gonna put a bit more in, but I'm gonna start here. Yeah, I like to always start on the lash line because then you don't have a weird thing. Oh, the like, lash line. The lash line or the no, hairline? <laughs> okay, all right, Vic, hairline. we know what you meant. All right, and then I'm gonna put some here. Yeah, then a bit here and, and where then else? a bit here. Under my chin? Yeah, I Am like I? to do kind of... Under you know, it's chin. very subtle, so it's just a bit, you know, okay. like light-handed. Okay. And then with the same brush, I will or already yeah. do my highlighter. So I okay. do a bit so of... you're gonna do a bit of highlighter on top of your ambient palette. Yeah, I love a highlighter. So. I love a highlighter, she says. Okay, where am I gonna put this? Yeah, same place. So high here, like, like yeah. that, and then here. Okay. Yeah. Where else? But very I... kind of okay. loose, 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 yeah. loose, 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 <laughs> loose, loose, loose. We do it loosely. I love yeah. your accent so much. So such a soft accent, the Brazilian ah. accent. It's very sexy. All right, I've done it loose. Am I going to do my nose? I see all those people on Huda Beauty, mm. you know, doing the end of their nose. Yeah. Things. Am I going to do that? I I no. normally don't okay. do it. Um, anywhere else? That's it? I forgot to tell you what I do. So with the contour and yep. the highlight and yep. then the blush, I always do a bit on my eyelids. Okay. So even if I'm not doing Fine, a, a, let's do an that. eyeshadow, so I already have do, a bit of I'm a gonna shadow. I'm going to do a little bit there. Yeah. And then I'm going to use a smaller one on here to do a bit of that, the contour the, one and just do... I know um, lovely Charlotte Tilbury always says do the window wipes, window wipes like that. <laughs> All right, next I'm going to do some blusher. Blusher. Okay, which one do you like? Uh, I mix both. Because what I she also it. says is you do your kind of, you do your blush like that. And then you do the And pop. then you do the pop. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. I always kind of mix both. It takes you a while to do your makeup then. Mm. This is taking us I, a bit of time. I spend, I spend more time on my skin. Oh, okay, then fine. on yeah. my eyes. I feel like if I have the skin okay, then I need okay, less. Okay, too much on there. No, it's alright. Should I fine. put a bit more blusher on or not? I, I could put a bit more on or not. I like it. 
there. Okay. Right, now we're going to go on to eyes because eyes. it's my phone will run out in five minutes. Ah, okay. What's next? So what I normally do? I feel like I'm being made up. I, I love to do the up. fake, fake line. Now this for me, because look, can we just look at her eyes? Just look, that beautiful, youthful eye and my kind of eye which has this on top of it. So you're going to do the line on me. Okay. My two favorite things for yeah. the eyes, doing like this kind of almost invisible line with yeah. a bit of a flick because okay. it kind of... Do you think you could do it on me? Yeah. Yeah? And then a... Smoky. Kind of stick, okay. like eyeshadow stick to... Blend it a bit. Blend. Okay, fine. So, so the most important thing when you do your liner yeah. is to have a cotton bud. A cotton bud, which I don't have. Nice. So I don't know how many ladies watch it are scared of doing this kind of eyeliner flick. I am, so I'm gonna interested to see what you do. So first of all, don't try to do the whole thing. Okay. And I almost, I always do kind of half of the eye anyway. I don't yeah. do the whole eye. Okay. And I just try to kind of touch the base of the lashes. Yeah to get this invisible line so open it just gives a bit Little of the definition line, yep, yep. and you wouldn't necessarily have to go like and do the flick if you don't want okay, it okay and then what i like to do is kind of smudge the line so it's not like a line it's just a it's it's a hint a, a hint of it's a the touch thing. yeah okay and makes, yeah. makes your lashes look more full like yeah, fuller yeah but it's like a bit of definition okay. and then you can see like if you want to do the flick so we're gonna do it but i'll do this so getting the flick in the right direction is tricky. Just touching the liner, it's like touching the liner. It's really about doing a hint of, you know. A hint of a flick. Yeah. And if your eyes are going over a bit, I think you have to be careful that this is not such good look. So you, you, you can't have skin going right down because you need to have room for the flick to go naturally up. Yeah, but the important thing is when you do the flick, you do like from the outer corner to the inner corner, ah, like this. Okay. So you have control okay. over when, where, and yes, like yes, okay. the, and the angle, and the direction, right? and the angle. All right. Yeah. Okay. And then I get the cotton bud as well, and kind of do like this. Yeah. So you get this really soft edge. I see. I see. You know? My goodness, that is a tiny amount. It's I thought you were going to do much tiny, more, but it's know. like just a little amount okay yeah. great so all right i you do you're gonna fix up my other side yeah so you do like any questions from the, victoria i'm just wondering what's the best type of eyeshadow for older lids older lids well i would always say a cream yeah me too not a powder and um i think it's got to be one that's got Let very good see. blendability so do you have a are we going to do eyeshadow or so not? So we can do the, the, the stick because the stick is a creamy. Okay, let's do the stick. Do you have it here? Yeah. I love the Laura Mercier one. Okay. Yes, I do. I also like the Laura Mercier sticks because they're actually more than a stick. They're a twist and push up and they're they're quite okay. thick. They're like a Let thick round crayon. So this okay. is like just... Okay. And you put this on the... on the. I try not to touch the light. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like the lid. And then I blend it upwards to in the direction of the crease, mm -hmm. like of the eye crease. Okay. Yeah. It's a very nice, nice color, this actually. Who is this color, color by? It, this is the Laura Mercier Amethyst. And I like to do it and uh, like near. Oh, a little bit underneath. The do a little underneath, lash underneath like, like that. Kind of gives up. Just to kind of. Yeah, and just blend it. And it's easy because you don't need a brush. Yeah, it's so, simple. Yeah. We like simplicity. Yeah. And also, it doesn't drop. Because that's the other thing with powders, for me, they drop. Yeah, it's annoying. Okay, do I need to blend it more? Yeah, okay, blend, blend it with blend, your fingers. Blend, blend. Fingers. Okay, I'm going to blend it with my fingers. And I like blending with the fingers as well because you kind of remove the ex excess. Excess, you do, So exactly. it kind of dries it You out. see, Vic doesn't need glasses and I do, so I'm looking at the mirror thinking, oh, that looks lovely, and she's looking at the mirror thinking, God, there's a lot of work to be done. No, no, no. Do you have a mascara there? Yeah. Okay, give me your mascara because I need so, a mascara. Do you trust me to use your mascara? Yeah. Thank you very much. My favorite mascara. Really? Yeah. I mean, how great is that she's got a benefit? The first thing you in your range, which is mastige, but this is Benefit Great Lash, which I, I also like. I use a lot of mastige, but you know, I picked some. You picked a mixture. Extra specials. So I'm going to go in and twist and turn. The only thing about this product is it has a plastic brush, not a bristle brush. Mm -hmm. And I sometimes find. A you plastic prefer. brush when I want to do that twist and curl. So I go in, Mary Greenall taught me this one, then you twist and pull out. So you want to just get kind of like a definition base. on the base. Love I've probably got lots on my bottom half, but I'm just showing you an idea. Mm. But that gives an idea, and we're going to end up with your brow because your brow. brow is the same as my brow, and I saw it in your bag, which is boing. I mean, 
benefit again. Give me brow. Give me brow. Mm. This so is such a good one. So easy to use. I did this, and I've used it incorrectly, but I did this uh, at Boots. I went to Boots at the weekend. Well, last week, Victoria, we went on Thursday, didn't we? I think I'm just about done. I feel that I've got quite a lot of makeup on for me. Um, lips. You haven't given me anything ah, for lips. Yeah. I Excuse brought, me, unfinished. I brought my fav current favorite nude. Oh my it's god! It's a you know this kind of new, weirder nude. Yeah, it's that kind of purpley nude. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of loving it. I like it. Do you like it? It's kind of different. I mean, oddly, this color with the mauve in it makes blue eyes bluer. Depends what you're wearing, because I'm wearing white with it, and I'm wearing silver. It mm -hmm. works. If I was wearing other colors, it might not work. And if I was wearing black, my lips might look too pale. pale yeah. But because I have pale colors here, and I always find that when you're doing makeup, ladies, if you do that smoky eye with a pale lip, you have to be really careful what color you're wearing on the bottom. And I prefer the smoky eye with a nude lip with soft, paler colors mm, so makes sense that's it it is quite interesting that color i first of all want to say thank you brazil for watching yeah. you always watch vic but it's lovely to watch you and um thank you everyone who's stayed tuned in because my camera is now just about to go it was a joy to have you thank in the you so much thank you i loved Very it much. and we're gonna have this uh the full video on my youtube channel so for anyone that didn't that, see that the didn't full see thing, it vic has a lovely there. youtube channel which is called Gia de Beauté, really bad name in English. Gia de Beauté. Now, well, the thing about well, well. the thing about you, darling, is you have many, many fans in Brazil, and they follow her because they know and love her. And in England, there's fewer people who know you because you transmit. You've transmitted a long time in Brazilian. Yes. So she's going to start speaking more English, and I'm very happy because you have wonderful things to say. Thank and you. I learned stuff today, and I love to have somebody in the bathroom so where I learn things. So nice. lymphatic drainage, ladies, we're all going to be doing it. Bye. 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 bye.